So you can bet on whether um, the vote is going to be to stay in the EU or to leave. Now you hear all this talk about, oh no, it's, it's, there's some no vote, some poll, it's going to be really close. But the betting markets have basically not been worried at all. It has, it's pretty much been be, jumping between a 70% probability of a yes and an 80% probability of yes. So it's highly comfortable that the vote is going to be yes. And there's been over 22 million bet. So this is a significant um, signal. You get bets where, you know, there's only 50 euro bet. Then it's a meaningless, you know. Um, you wouldn't attach much value to whatever a 50 euro market was telling you. But a market with 22 million bet, you know, if this was totally crazy, then you would bet on it. You would go, oh, all my research shows that the probability of a yes vote is actually 50-50. Well then, if that was the case, you'd aggressively bet that it's going to be a no. And you'd get excellent odds but nobody is N none of the people and there's lots of money out there none of those people are plowing money in to say thank you very much excellent payday so I would most likely bet that the vote will be to stay in the EU and look to bank. That's like 34% profit overnight, tax-free. Now, to be fair, it was 25%. So th these odds have gotten worse. That would, to me, be the most natural way to play the Brexit. It's the one. So, if you have a situation where the markets are saying the probability of a yes vote is between seventy to eighty percent, you're basically the mood is yes. So the main worry when you have a situation like that is turnout. If people all go, ah, it's going to be a yes, and so they don't even bother to vote, then it could be no. Because the people who are passionately no will turn up to vote so your main threat if you're the government is a low turnout you've got to make people bother to vote you've got to make people feel that this is close don't take this for granted turn up go out and vote so that would be how I'd see it and basically the straight out bet seems the cleanest way to play the Brexit vote so that's just my take on the Brexit referendum 
don't know if how you're playing or how you're trading it just comment uh, underneath the video there are far more options on this page than just betting on a yes or no in fact we can even bet on the turnout so from this now there's only 50,000 euro here so you know it's not as mature and well developed as just the yes no vote but here the most likely scenario is having 60 to 65 percent turnout which is not bad at all obviously we'd like 70 percent turnout or higher if my view that the main risk is a low turnout but we could for example back that the vote's going to be yes and then hedge because the main risk of a no vote in my way of thinking is a low turnout so if we just have a small bet on a low turnout that'll offer us some kind of insurance if that's what we want we can also bet on other things so is the yes vote going to be higher or lower than 52 and a half percent so remember the referendum only needs higher than 50 but the general feeling is it's going to be comfortably over 50 so that's a near 70 percent probability that the yes is going to be higher than 52 and a half in fact there's even a bet on 56 and a half though zero euro has been bet on this it's totally liquid so 1.72 on the if you were to make the bet and people are looking for nine to be on the other side of the bet so you know it's it's, it's highly liquid i just look at the 52 and a half again yeah that that's okay you know 1.54 1.56 87,000 I think the turnout one was 50,000 yeah so again you know these are uh, secondary smaller uh, markets you know they're not anywhere near as um, there's nowhere near as much money in them than just the yes no I'll just check the other bets here referendum to remain vote okay so this is um, I'm not looking at whether the vote is yes or no I'm going to try and predict what the results going to be so there's 550,000 in this so you know it's it's not bad I'd like more than a million really for uh, before I'd kind of consider a market as meaning anything but I like the fact that you know it looks relatively liquid and essentially the bet is 
whether it's so I don't think it's going to be 60% or higher yes that's you know the odds are low the most likely is it's going to be 50 to 55 or 55 to 60 so I'd, I'd be tempted to have a bet there as well so say instead of going I think it's going to be yes I bet that it's going to be between like I placed a bet on both of these so I mean the odds are good enough that say I bet 50 on both okay then I'd lose one of them but I'd make nearly 100% profit so actually that looks interesting since you know I, I, I don't think that the market is again I don't really know you know this is pure betting you know I mean um, I prefer the yes vote bet um, yes it's only 35% or 34% the this is more you know um, highly speculative but you know I mean I'd be very surprised if 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 it was that clear cut you know what I mean um so that's that's a very interesting bet also so I suppose betting gives me a far clearer way to play the brexit um referendum now I'm scratch, scratching my head because I thought I was just going to vote on the yes no but looking at this now I'm I want to think about this this looks this looks very interesting I, uh, because I really just don't think that the yes is going to be so clear that gives me a big range like 50 to 60 hmm so what do you think what do you think um, and how, how would you go about doing that like how would you figure out what the appropriate percent is because I'd, I'd look at you know so I've got these other bets so there's a market on on above or below 56 percent that that's it's it's unclear the market's not sure but this is meaningless because there's no money bet so this isn't giving me a hint likewise I've got the above or below 52 and a half percent well there the market's pretty confident that it's going to be higher than 52 and a half so from this I can kind of feel that the number is going to be about 55 percent uh, 55 56 that that seems the where the line is hence I'm pretty comfortable that it's going to be a yes vote I would still need to figure out that like, can I figure out I just don't but uh, do I have any way to gauge better not off the top of my head so 
Yeah, I'd love it if you had any thoughts. Now, how do you, how would you go about making a better estimate? Actually, off the top of my head, uh, maybe using some kind of, because uh, I'm also doing some stuff, and I'll have a lesson on that on the channel probably a couple of months. I'm doing some stuff on sentiment analysis at the moment. You know, you can kind of probe comments on Twitter to see what the, the what the chatter is saying. And 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 that has been very good at predicting elections and just making all kinds of predictions. So I would perhaps be able to look at uh, Twitter and see whether anything's possible from there. Unfortunately, I'm very much just at the beginning of my um, analysis of Twitter. So I, I, I'm not yet at, a, at the stage where I can see how to process the data that I have. That's we'll be doing that in mm, a couple of months probably. Remember to subscribe in order to be updated when new content is uploaded.